My name is Melanie Garrison, and I accepted Jesus as my personal savior at five years old. My dad was a tough one. He was emotionally distant. He didn't show affection, except when it came to performing well. I remember back to a piano recital in seventh or eighth grade. Of course, mom and dad are there. And one of the things you had to do were, uh, was memorize the piece. So I get up there <laughs> and I sit down and nothing. Just went totally blank. And so I then walk off the stage completely humiliated and crushed. At that point, I decided I will never be publicly humiliated again. I will always perform well. I will always be prepared. And um, I will control my, my own outcomes in that way. Fast forward into my 20s, uh, I married someone just a little bit too much like my dad. He even was in the same profession as my dad, an accountant, emotionally distant. My worth to my then husband was in what I did, how I made him feel uh, through that eventual divorce and lost my, most of my friends during that time as well. I learned that relationships, good, solid relationships, don't fix what's going on inside of me. And so I continued on in this, this mindset, this performance mindset where really I can only trust myself. I had started going to a Christian counselor. What I remember her saying was, well, what we have here is an identity problem. She also said, you know, as I talked a lot about work, in fact, I was consumed by work. So she said, you know, at some point, the Lord may lead you to quit my job. He did lead me to quit my job voluntarily. And it has been quite a journey since then. I am learning that my identity has nothing to do with me. I can't perform more for God to love me. And if I don't perform as well as I think I should, he doesn't love me less. He defines me not by what I am in my humanness, but by who I have a relationship to and through. And I'm a daughter of the King. I, I can't believe it. I didn't earn it. I'm in awe and so grateful.